Okay, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Let's, let's have a chat, which is to say you've gotten a week and a half of ideas from some smart people with a lot of experience. A lot of you have thrown out a, a lot of good ideas. What's next? Do you foresee using some of these ideas in your own institutions? And or do you see ramping it up and working among institutions or among countries? <coughs> what, are the, what are the ideas, but also what are the challenges? What are the obstacles? I'm happy just to pass the microphone around. And um, basically, the um, information that I've learned from this course is for me the missing link. Um, it's what was missing for us to be able to catch up with the rest of the world in capturing data in our institution. Um, I'm coming from a situation where we've been capturing um, data on Excel and incorrectly capturing, which I now know, I didn't know then, everybody thinks we're doing a good job and we're almost done. But um, from all the things that I've learned, um, the Darwin core fields and everything, the first, uh, the, and also the, um, the fact that the course incorporated even a workflow into it, such that we're not, uh, I'm not going to go back and say, okay, I've got all this knowledge, where am I going to start from? It's all there. So I've managed to develop a plan for my department that when I go back, this is how I'm going to approach it and this is how I'm going to direct people to do the things that we want to do. And even practical, simple practical things on how to speed up the process and uh, how to it opened up my mind on the m various ways and methods that are out there that we can incorporate to make it faster. So I'm hoping when we go back, we'll be able to capture at least our first s set completely in the f in the next one and a half years. What are the biggest obstacles? What's the biggest question remaining in your mind about how to do this? There, are, no. there are two unknowns. The first is the availability of resources but that has sort of been answered um, during this course we are going to start from what is there do as much as, as we can with what is there and then as we have as we check our progress we are still going to be looking into all the possible sources of funding but with something to show that we are doing something hopefully we'll get some funding and complete the process but we're not going to stop and say there's no money we'll start with what is there and continue the second thing that will pose a challenge is how well i'm going to represent this whole idea um, back in the institution and how well it will be accepted especially in the view of data sharing because we have sort of tried to do that, but I wasn't this informed when uh, we presented the idea. So with the more points that I have, I'm sure people will be more comfortable sharing the whole data set because right now they're only comfortable sharing the made metadata, but not the whole set. So hopefully that will be cleared with all the information I've gathered and we can proceed and start doing that for all the, the collections we have. Remember the lesson that John set out that early on, maybe back late 1990s in the US, quite a number of collections told us, no, but a non-zero number told us, yes, you can, you can apply that same idea within an institution. Maybe the curator of one group is absolutely opposed to it. But maybe some curator, some collection manager is willing to take a shot. And what you want to do is make the experience 
experience of success for that person, those, those few people who are willing to take the risk, and thereby set a goal for them. Well, with us, the method that is really going to work for us is to produce a blueprint with my department, go and apply the methods, and when we have something to show, um, after we've gone through the process, um, we can then say, guys, we've done this stage. This is how far we've gone. Would you like to come in? So when they, be, when they see the advantages of us applying that knowledge, they'll come on board definitely. <coughs> and the feasibility as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will really start by, by, by thanking town and his team. This course has been really enriching. It's very good for me personally as a researcher and for my institution. Really my institution is, is a young institution we started just in, in uh, 2009. Uh, we are still working on the basis of experience because actually I work with Center of Tropical Forest Science for, for quite some time and um, with this course I think that we have to have to transfer this knowledge into into tropical plant expansion group which is our institution to make it grow but this weekend I'll be back in Cameroon and I think next week I have to take the rule of Joseph Grinnell in 1910 in establishing the, the museum in uh, California because I have now realized that there are a lot of information in Cameroon that is like leaking somewhere. And um, I will really take this responsibility to discuss with the, 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 the head of department and some lecturers in the, the zoology department, the University of Boya, and the plant uh, people at the middle of Boya, that from scratch we can start something. But to on plants, I, I know that the National Herbarium of Cameroon, they really have good collection, and it will actually not make sense for Tropec to start a herbarium. The university can start, but I think Tropec will have to discuss very hard with the people at National Herbarium so that we can beef them with more information and make this information available to other researchers. But as I said, um, Tropic responsibility back in Cameroon is actually to, to set up a base between Tropic and the University of Boya because I've now realized that um, I'm, 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 Biodiversity data capturing, it needs a lot of money. And the real people to work on, on a, 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 a lower financial ground are students. And if this is attached with the University of Boya, uh, they can start something like a small collection room, and I think it will take, it will take us somewhere one day. So that is what I mind. Uh, for me, okay, for me, um, uh, Dr. Sassi has led the digitization of the data already, but as we have seen, there's a lot of cleaning that needs to be done. So, well, this course has equipped me to help him <laughs> do that, do the cleaning, and I think we would now be able to even convince people more about the sharing of data because well, sometimes you speak with people and they are not too sure why they should do that and how safe they are always are this intellectual property thing but from the explanation you gave today i can boldly tell them that it's 
a good thing is rather better for them to share than to keep it. So the course has helped a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what I can say that this training has been, uh, it was uh, been very interesting and helpful for me. Uh, as I'm interested in, the, in the digitizing our biodiversity in Rwanda, um, it has shown me how, the, how, how hard work I will have, uh, okay, and how the challenge I can meet, um, and uh, how, how long it could take. It, just, it has just helped me to understand, my, my, it has just helped me to, to, to leave some confusions as that I had before. Yeah, it's very helpful. Thank you. I uh, want to join others to appreciate uh, Tom and his uh, team for a job well done. I want to sincerely say that I as a person have really appreciated the course because we are already, you know, in the program trying to see how we can digitize, I mean, computerize our collections. We were able to participate in the API project and, but after that, you know, the question that kept coming to our mind is, what's going to happen to other collections? Because the API projects only cover the type specimens. And from this course, light, more light has been shown on what we could do. I know that the greatest challenge is fund. And uh, I was just thinking, is it possible for even the international community to intervene or uh, make the government, African government, to be responsible to research? I know it's becoming a talk of the town that, well, 26% of uh, the annual budgetary should be allocated to ed education. And based on that, the university lecturers have been agitating. And, uh, but the fate of research has more or less become, you know, as if there is no hope. Because uh, the government, as we all know, they want to know, okay, you want to do this work, what's going to be the financial uh, benefit? That has been the greatest challenge especially in my own country. So it's like government can do with or without research, but we know that is disastrous in itself. Uh, the issue of biodiversity, no doubt, is uh, the, 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 data, the database is very, very fundamental, even for biodiversity issue, because you cannot conserve what you don't, ha what you don't know and I believe the bioinformatics to help us to know as, as a country or as a continent what we really have in a coordinated form such that the issue of uh, data sharing will be realistic. Because uh, trying to go to another country for one reason or the other, could be very, very expensive. But if in one's office you can interact with the whole world, I believe it's an effort worth doing or worth carrying out. I only hope that this program will be able to help us see how we can access funds to put us on the working uh, system. Yes, uh, yes, at times we believe that we can do things without money. But at the same time, if there is no money, you may not be able to go far. My country, for instance, we have the problem of power. And there is no way one can move forward without power. I knew the API had to even uh, purchase a generator set for us to be able to you know, power our system to do the work. 
and not just buying generator, but also, I mean, fueling the generator. These are realities on ground. And I just pray and believe that, you know, by God's grace, we believe so much in God. By God's grace, things will work out for us. Thank you.